As of June 23, 2020, the World Health Organization reported a total of 8,993,659 confirmed cases of COVID-19 globally with 469,587 deaths. There are now 4,437,946 confirmed cases in the region of the Americas. St. Lucia currently has on record 19 cases of COVID-19. The last case was diagnosed on June 4, 2020. This individual has now recovered fully and has been discharged from the hospital, giving the country a 100% recovery rate. As such, there are no confirmed cases of COVID-19 currently in care. Testing results received on June 24, 2020 indicated 27 negative test results. A total of 1,619 tests have been carried out to date. There are now 306 people in quarantine. Most of those are nationals repatriated from cruise ships. All persons in quarantine are doing well with no symptoms of COVID-19. The Ministry of Health, we note the continuous increase in global cases of COVID-19. So though at a national level, we've been able to manage this epidemic, we remind everyone of the need to remain cautious and to maintain behaviors which will reduce the risk of spreading the virus. Be reminded that in addition to the hand hygiene and cough etiquette, with the use of the mask and maintaining physical distancing requirements, self-care is also necessary and an important component of our prevention efforts. Through the combination of increased daily consumption of fresh fruits and vegetables, regular physical activity, avoiding harmful products like tobacco and the excessive consumption of alcohol, a stronger immune system is built. By building your immune levels, there is increased ability to fight off COVID-19 and other infectious diseases. For people living with chronic conditions, these actions are of particular importance and will add great value in preventing further complications with their condition. You may also visit your closest community wellness center or speak with your private healthcare provider for further guidance on actions to assist in the prevention of ill health. They remain available to guide and support you in decisions that promote health and well-being. The Department of Health and Wellness, we will continue providing you with regular updates on COVID-19.